The anime begins with a boy named Denji, who was sleeping in an old factory. He leaves for work as soon as he wakes up, because he has a lot of debt on him, to pay for it. He has also sold one of his kidneys and his right eye. But even after doing all this, he still has to pay 38,040,000 yen, for which, he is working as a devil hunter. Along with him, we also see his devil pet. Its name is Pachita and it has the power of a chainsaw. Together with it, Denji kills the other devil and gets some money in return. But in reality, he was doing all this under compulsion to pay off Yakuza's debt. He and Pachita are still out to kill a devil. Both come to a place where a tomato devil is in front of them. Denji kills the devil with the help of Pachita's chainsaw. After some time Yakuza also comes here and Denji was working for him. Yakuza sells the dead devil on the black market. He gives Denji some money for this work. But after paying all the bills and interest, Denji only has 1800 yen left. He keeps the remaining money with him with the help of which he was going to manage the rest of his expenses. He tells Pachita that today dinner is gonna be a slice of bread. That's when, we see that Yakuza and his driver were also here. The driver asks Yakuza why hire a brat like that to hunt devils. Yakuza then replies that he's paying off what he owes us and it was his deadbeat old man's debt. The real devil hunters don't pass devil. Parkes is onto Yakuza, but Denji does what he is told by Yakuza. Yakuza's driver then comes to Denji. He calls him dog and says that if he eats this cigarette, he will give him 100 yen. Denji is ready to do anything for a bit of cash. That's why, he eats the cigarette. Yakuza tells Denji that when there is another devil, I will contact you. After this he leaves from here by giving money to Denji. Now Denji takes the cigarette out of his mouth and happily tells Pachita that this money will keep us for another three days. Denji returns to his place and feeds Pachita bread. He tells Pachita that normal people eat bread with jam. But this thing is a dream for us, because Denji still had a lot of debt. So he feels that he will not be able to pay his debt even before he dies. Denji also wants to live a happy and peaceful life like other people's. He dreams that he too has a girlfriend and goes on a date with her. But Denji doesn't think any of his dreams will come true. After that he starts thinking about that time, when his father committed suicide by hanging. But Denji's father had not paid that month's installment before he died. So, Yakuza asks Denji to pay 70,000 yen and for this he gives him only one day. Because he does care about anything and asks Denji to pay the installments by any means. So if he could not pay the installment, then Yakuza would kill him and sell his body parts. After saying this, Yakuza leaves in his car. Now Denji is very sad at this time and he could not understand what to do. That's when the chainsaw devil comes here. Seeing this, Denji gets very scared. But still he was not afraid to die and says that if you are gonna kill me, just do it. Because I am dead either way. Now Denji is ready to die and closes his eyes. But the chainsaw devil doesn't kill him. Because at this time he too was badly injured and was about to die. Denji gets scared seeing this. Because he doesn't want to die like his father. He asks the devil to drink his blood. Because he had heard that human blood would heal the devil's wound. Now the chainsaw devil didn't even want to die. So he agrees to Denji and starts drinking his blood. But in reality, Denji was not doing this for free. In return, he makes a deal with the devil. He tells devil that I have helped you. So now you have to help me too. Because I don't want to die either. Denji then teams up with the chainsaw devil to kill the other devil and asks Yakuza to hire him as a devil hunter. Because he wanted to work for him to pay off the debt. Hearing this, Yakuza agrees. Now, Denji was trying to sleep. But due to hunger, he could not even sleep. Apart from this, he was also remembering about his debt. He is sharing all these things with Pachita. But Pachita was excited to hear about his dreams. Denji then tells him that I want to put jam on my bread and share it with you. Then I am gonna flirt with a girl. I will play video games with her and then. We will fall asleep hugging each other. Pachita also gets happy after hearing this. Suddenly Denji starts coughing and during this also takes out blood from his mouth. Due to which, both Pachita and Denji get nervous. Denji then tells Pachita that my mom died from some heart disease that made her cough up blood. Just then, Yakuza knocks on the door. He tells Denji that we have come to know about another devil. So gets ready for work immediately. Hearing this, Denji sits in his car. After which, he brings him through a forest path near an old factory. Denji goes inside the old factory with Yakuza. But he could not see any devil here. So he starts talking to Yakuza about it and says that he might have left. But at this time Yakuza was not responding to any of his words and suddenly he stops at one place. Now Denji gets a little surprised by this. Yakuza tells him that you are as loyal as a dog and you work for cheap like one. But only problem with dogs is I cannot stand the stench. But Denji could not understand that why he was doing such things. Suddenly, someone attacks from behind. 
in which Pachita along with Denji also gets badly injured. Yakuza starts telling Denji that I am thinking of making even more money. Then we learn that he has also made a deal with the devil. He then merges with the body of the devil. Because Yakuza wanted to get demonic power, and that devil wanted to kill all devil hunters. Denji sees that all the devil hunters have been possessed by the devil. Because this devil has given him some demonic power. In return, they have agreed to become its slave. But in reality the devil is a zombie devil. Therefore, because of its given power, they all have become zombies. Zombie devil hates devil hunters, because they go around killing devils. So he wants to kill him also. After this, Jomi devil orders his men to kill Denji. But Denji wants to live. So he does not want to die in their hands in any condition and starts running to save his life. Seeing this, all the zombies start chasing him. Now Denji also tries his best to avoid them. But this time he was injured badly. Therefore, he cannot escape from them for a long time. After chasing for some time, a zombie comes very close to him and attacks him with his weapon. Now because of this he gets injured and falls down. This time he could do nothing to save himself. After this, all the zombies start attacking on him one by one. Denji starts screaming furiously in pain. But now he was stuck in the middle of them. And he does not even have enough strength to fight with them. During this, he starts thinking that he did not want to become rich. Rather he just wanted to live a normal life. But it looks like he won't be able to have that either. After this Denji keeps screaming in pain. While all the zombies together cut him into pieces. They kill Denji and Pachita and throw them in the garbage. But then Denji's blood enters Pachita's mouth. Because of this it regains consciousness. With this, it starts remembering the moments spent with Denji and his words. He starts thinking about that time. When he and Denji were cutting trees in the forest. Where Denji was telling Pachita that there is a good chance he is gonna die fighting a devil. But his only regret would be leaving it on its own. Because some other devil hunter might kill it. Or it could end up staring to death. He gets very upset thinking about all these things. He then tells Pachita that he have heard that some devils can take over dead bodies. So if that is something it can do. Then he wants it to have his body. Then Pachita can move out of here. Because Denji wants Pachita to live a normal life and die a normal death. After this he lifts Pachita in his hands and says that you have gotta make my dream come true. After remembering these things, Pachita gives his heart to Denji and starts merging himself with his body. Due to it, Denji's severed body parts are reunited. After some time Denji also regains consciousness. He sees a flashback, where Pachita was in front of him. Denji asks if it has taken his body, like he said. Then Pachita says that I always loved hearing you talk about your dreams. So, here is the deal. I will give you my heart, and in exchange, I want you to show me your dream. On hearing this, Denji immediately opens his eyes. But this time he was completely surprised. Because there was no trace of wound on his body and he was completely healed. Just then does he see the chainsaw's key in his chest, which was actually in Pachita's tail. Denji does not see Pachita anywhere, so he understands the whole thing. But all the zombies were still roaming here and the zombie devil is very surprised to see Denji alive. At this time Denji was standing right in front of it. So the zombie devil doesn't understand how Denji is still alive. But it did not want to see Denji alive in any condition. So he again sends his men to kill him. On receiving his order, all the zombies start running towards Denji to kill him. Seeing this, Denji also gets ready to face them. He starts remembering the moment spent with Pachita. Because even though he wanted to live a normal life, but still he was very happy with Pachita. After this he rewinds everything once again. He says that if you get in our way, then you will die. Now as soon as the group of zombies comes to attack him, Denji pulls the the key of chainsaw. But they had no idea what was going to happen to them and together they all go to eat him. The zombie devil thinks that his zombies will kill Denji. Suddenly he hears the sound of chainsaw. Because of this, he is completely shocked. After this, Denji comes out killing everyone. His body was completely changed and body parts were changed into chainsaw. Because of this change, Denji was looking terrifying. Now even the zombie devil is surprised to see this. Because Denji was neither a human nor a devil at this time. So they understand that the chainsaw devil has merged with his body. Denji then starts attacking them using his chainsaw power and injures the zombie devil badly. Because of this, the zombie devil gets very angry and throws Denji away from here. Meanwhile, a zombie attacks him with a rod. But nothing happens to Denji from this attack and after that he starts killing everyone one by one. Now zombie devil gets very scared and starts throwing its own people at him to save itself. But even this does not stop Denji from moving forward and he brutally kills everyone. After this, he jumps and goes to attack the zombie devil as well. Seeing this, the zombie devil tries to stop him with its tentacles. But the zombie devil still can't stop him and Denji attacks it with his chainsaw. 
Now the zombie devil is unable to do anything to save itself and Denji cuts its body into two pieces. At this time Denji was looking very dangerous and seeing this the condition of all the zombies got worse. Denji says that you guys went full devil. But you hired me to become a devil hunter. So, I better kill all the devils. After saying this, he brutally kills everyone. After some time, a car comes here, out of which three official devil hunters come out. They are shocked to see the inside view. The lady devil hunter says that someone has come here even before us. Then his eyes go to Denji. His whole body was covered with blood. That lady devil hunter comes in front of him without fear. She was also very beautiful in appearance. She looks at Denji and says that you are very strange. Because you are neither human nor devil. But Denji doesn't answer any. She then smiles and says that you did this. Just then Denji is about to fall down. But the girl hugs Denji and stops him from falling down. After this Denji's body changes and he comes in his human form. Then a devil hunter asks any chance he is possessed. To this the girl says no. Because she can tell who is possessed. With a look at their face. Now the girl tells Denji that she is a devil hunter with public safety. And she came here to kill the zombie devil. She gives Denji two options. First, she can kill him like a devil. And second, she can keep him as a human and will make sure he is fed. Hearing this, Denji looks at all the dead zombies once. He then asks the girl what is for breakfast. To which the girl lovingly replies that bread with butter, jam, salad and coffee. But this time Denji was looking the girl very carefully and then says that that sounds awesome. After this episode ends, watch the video of the left side if you have missed the previous part and subscribe to any summary for more anime recaps.